Hey guys, this is Ken down here at Camping World of Asheville, and I'm going to do a quick video on this guy right here. This is actually a 2023 model. As you know, we're trying, we are in 2024 now, so these 2023 models have got to go. So let me do a quick video on this guy right here. This is the 2023 Primetime Tracer Ultralight 28 BHS. 28 means 28 feet of living space, BH means bunkhouse in the back, and S means a slide. So let's go in and check out the features inside. All right, guys, now that we're here on the inside, I'm going to take you through each nook and cranny here on the inside of this amazing camper so you can see all the space that we have in here. So, yes, I do realize that I'm starting off down here on the floor, but I just had to show you the storage space that was underneath that first bunk right there in the bunkhouse and of course point out that door back there because that door leads to the outside this guy actually folds up check that out and you can put bicycles all kinds of stuff in there if you needed to totes that sort of thing so a very versatile bottom bunk and then of course we have the ladder that goes up to the second bunk right up here. And these bunks are full size bunks. In other words, you can get two children in these bunks if you need to. Both have lights, USB ports, and a window. Now let's go into the bathroom and let me show you the bathroom in here. Look at what we've got right here. We've got a sink with a cabinet up underneath. You saw those motion lights come on. They came on as soon as I opened the door. There's your medicine cabinet right there. Opens right up. Oh, it's, it's a magnet. It took me a little bit to open it up, but there we are. Now let's show you this amazing shower. We're talking a full rectangular shower right here with a seat. And then look at that rain head on the shower. It gives you lots of rain right there. Lots of water cascading down on you. There's a skylight for you tall guys. And then check this out. This is an actual glass shower door right there. No curtains right there. An actual glass shower door in the bathroom with lots of storage space in the bathroom. And right next to the bathroom is more storage space in case you needed it for your, your towels and your wash rags. Two cabinets, one, two, right next to the bathroom. In 28 BHS S stands for slide and here it is folks this is the super slide right here that has your couch and your dinette right here in the slide opening up the middle of the camper and making it nice wide open this sofa right here you pull up the uh, cushions here and you have an actual pull out bed up under the sofa right there so that gives you more sleeping space. And then of course you got your dinette right here, which also the table goes down on the bottom right here. These pads move across and then you have another sleeping space right here. But I also wanted to show you that there is storage. Look at that huge foot locker right there up under the dinette set. So very versatile there inside the slide with nice, beautiful, accents on the lights nice little romantic spot right here and of course here are all those windows that are going to let in all that amazing light right there check that out right across from that nice beautiful couch right there that folds out into a sleeper you got a fireplace and this fireplace actually has heat it's an electric heat so you don't have to use your lp gas just to knock the chill off. Of course, you got a sound bar right up there that goes along with your television. Little counter space, a little shelf space right here up under your television right there. Look at that nice big television with a strap on it. And the television has, well, look at that. Your television has hideaway space behind it. How about that? Look at that. Let me just come back out. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. Well. You're only seeing me on that one, but yes, there is hideaway space behind the television. There's your entertainment center. One more look at that in the wide shot. Now let's go up over here. Here is some of your pantry space because right next to the entertainment center is 
the kitchen, and you've got space for hanging garments if you need to. But most people will probably use that as a pantry. Here is your massive refrigerator. Eight cubic foot refrigerator right there. Electric. Places for your drinks. All that kind of good stuff. Freezer up top. Look at that. I can put my whole arm down into the freezer. And it's cold. It's already cold. I just plugged it in. Hey, let's check out this microwave with the stainless steel accents right there. How about that? You got your hood fan right there that has a light. Look at that. And it has the fan right there in case it, it gets a little steamy on the oven right here. So you got your three eye stove with a backsplash. Nice chrome backsplash. Three eye oven or stove right there with an oven right up underneath. How about that? And I really like this backsplash here. It's a metal backsplash. Looks like it's easy to clean. Of course, we put the glass down because it gives us more prep space on this L-shaped counter right here. Seamless countertop. No water is going to get up under there. And check out this nice big stainless sink right up here with a big gooseneck faucet right here so you can get pots and pans up under that. Now, let's check out all the storage space. you got a cabinet right up under the sink right there. You've got one, two, three, four drawers going all the way down to the floor. And then, of course, above, of course, above, I can't talk today, you've got two cabinets above that. So, very nice use of storage space in your kitchen. One other thing I wanted to show you about the bench dinette is that there are doors that open up that go to that storage as well. You don't have to lift the pads off the top of the benches to get to it. You've got these convenient little doors that you can get right in there if you need to. Now behind this sliding door right up here in the front cap, let's take a look at your master bedroom. Look at that. You got two windows on either side to give you a cross breeze. You got your nice queen size bed right up under here. And of course, there's always a foot locker for some storage right up under the queen size bed. Got shocks on it so it'll hold it up right there. So you got your queen size bed. Looks like uh, I should have uh, probably made that bed up before I got in here. So you got some wardrobe space on either side there you go got a nice little drawer right up here with the it's got the metal racks on it right there with ball bearings so and then you got your little end table obviously you've got another power socket there all the same on the other side power socket table nice pull out drawer right here and then of course wardrobe space right here nice shelf over the top of the bed right there and now I'm going to just kind of flip around and yes you have a place for a television here's the rack for it here's the power everything like that so nice beautiful space in the front and this guy doesn't have just one but it has two air conditioners to keep you nice and cool so you've got 50 amp service outside two air conditioners and everything is ducted so it reaches every corner of your travel trailer. Now back outside here, guys, I'm going to show you the front end. Look at that nice aerodynamic front cap right there. Designed to make that uh, air just go right up and over the top of the front cap. You got LED lights right up front here. Very nice. Makes it look good in the campground. Now there's a couple other things I need to show you right up front. Check out this power tongue jack right here up and down. And you also have a light right here so you can see to do this in the dark. But again, up and down with that power tongue jack right there. Two 20-pound tanks for your LP gas right up there. Now let's go down the campsite of your travel trailer right here. There's a lot of amenities to show you. First off, look at that massive pass-through storage up here in the front just in case you need to put fishing poles and that sort of thing across the front. It's also got a light inside right there so you can see. And then I like, I really like this button over here. You know what this button does? It puts down your stabilizer bars. Look at that, no cranking right there, up and down with your stabilizer bars. 
that button is just inside the pass-through storage. Now let's go down the side here and look at that massive awning right there. Gives you a plenty of room, like a front porch. You can either be in the sunlight or you can be out of the sunlight, I mean, and be in the shade or you can get out of the rain. I guess that's what I was going for on that. And then right over here, even Fido has a spot right here. You got your dog leash right there. And then inside here, look at that, another refrigerator on the inside and a little pull-out table right there if you wanted to put a grill right there. So kind of a outdoor kitchen, at least an outdoor space right there that you can uh, do some outdoor kitchening things in because that quick connect for your gas is right up under there, right next to this door. And of course, you have speakers marine grade speakers out here to listen to your music while you're up under the awning right here or you're doing things in your outdoor kitchen and of course led lights across the top look at that it looks very nice right there here's the doorway that's going on the inside and you have a nice handrail right here got the new solid steps right there you also have power outlet right here and check out those aluminum wheels on check it out Goodyear tires not just China bombs but Goodyear tires right there very nice and then of course back here just past the awning underneath the two windows here for the bunk beds and right under that check it out it's some more storage ladies and gentlemen all the kids stuff can go right there some more storage did you get that now here we are at the very back of the camper and this is what I like so much about this. Not only do you have a spare tire and do you have a backup camera hookup, but you got this access door right here that goes on the inside. It's right up under or it's right behind one of those bunk beds. You can see it here. The bunk bed is actually folded up and you have all this space through here for totes, bicycles, whatever you need. You've got an access panel right there to put stuff in there as you're traveling. So that's very nice. Now I'm just going to go down the non-side. No. And as that sun fades away, I'm going to go down the non-camp side of your camper and show you this massive slide out with all those windows. That's going to let all of that sunlight come in. And then, of course, right up front here is the other side of that pass-through storage. Let me open that thing up. Oh, and here's all your water hookups. So you got the pass-through storage, and then right here, you got an outdoor shower if you need it. This guy hooks right in there, and it does have hot and cold water to spray yourself off. And these are all your water connections, cable TV, black water flush, got a light up under here to see. You can add some solar to this guy if you need to. And then of course your battery power disconnect so you don't lose any battery power when you're not using your camper. So the dry weight of this camper comes in at 6,100 pounds. Perfect for any half ton truck, no problem there. And then you'll probably add about a thousand pounds to that when you do your towing and you actually go out and go camping. This guy is an amazing camper and I wish you guys would come down here and see me, Ken, down here at Camping World and take a tour with me.